So I know I usually don't talk about this type of stuff much. I don't really go into detail because I don't know if people are ready to hear this. Because, you know, as I look around, um, people like to live a lie. And who am I to interrupt that, right? And, you know, people are comfortable, you know, with the lives, I should say the lies that they live. So it's, I'm not really into making it my business to, like, mess that up for people. But I have to speak on it. If people don't want to hear it, that's fine. I'll know from the response. But I'm just going to say it today. I'm going to outline something today. And take it or leave it. I, I really don't care. It's just my job to say it. But I think you should take it. The only reason... I, I, I know it's 2019 and bashing the Bible is not a foreign concept like it used to be. A lot of people like to bash Christians in the Bible and stuff like that. I was definitely one of them before. They was my favorite people to bash. I mean, even now it's fun to talk shit. Bashing them makes no sense because you, here you have two people that claim to read the Bible that, that, that probably don't. You got Christians and you got, you know, other people that have read the Bible and think that it's bullshit. Newsflash, like, the Christians think it's bullshit, too. They don't even read it, most of them. I'm sorry. They don't. Now, there's been books taken out. You know, it was... And to say books been taken out is kind of a stretch because it was never one complete work. It's, it was never one one group of people it was never one particular time where that was a thing so you know yeah books are always added and taken out of it since a long time ago it's no set order that makes it the bible it was always being tampered with here's the thing it doesn't matter the jews are in there it's a lot of jews in there listen to me i'm not no christian I do not call myself a Christian. Never have. I don't have no reason to, you know, promote no Bible. I'm not being sponsored by uh, some company that sells Bibles. And same thing with the Quran, but most people, you know, are more familiar with the Bible than the Quran. People I know. So I'm using that. So here's the thing, you know, when you bashing it, you just showing that you... Just as clueless as the so-called Christian is. Because what, what's going on is, it's not a book of contradictions. It's not. I, trust me, when I, when, I, now when I say I read it, I read it a lot of times. A lot of times. Believe me or don't believe me. I read it a lot of times. There's no contradictions in the book. There are mistranslations. That can look like contradictions. There are a lot of parables. That can look like contradictions. It's a lot of symbology. That can look like contradictions. But that's on. You know. But that speaks to the discernment of the person. Reading the book. It's not a book that makes sense. It doesn't always make sense. It's beyond senses. It's beyond the five senses. That's why. It's, it's not a good book to read if you don't have the ability to see certain things. Then it's just going to be, you know, it's just going to look like a bunch of made up shit. But to those of us that can see, and I shouldn't have to break down what see means, but for those of us that can see, it's an amazing book. It is not a book. I want y'all to really... Think about what I'm about to say. The book is not based on secular history at all. This is not, this is not, these stories don't unfold in space and time. Now that's, that's the disconnect. There are a lot of personifications in the book. One, you got to take into consideration how people, you know, wrote and spoke in those different times. So, 
This is this is this is not this is a book based on truth. But this is not a book based on facts. Big difference. The whole thing is true. None of it is factual. I'm going to say that again. The whole thing is true. None of it is factual. None of it is secular history. It's all divine. Very true stories in there. And I had no problem admitting that. Very true book. We can get deeper on into this. On this channel, if y'all want to. If y'all don't want to, that's fine. I had to say it. All of it is true. From the Christ to David to Abraham. They're just not people. They're not single individuals like as we are. Not so. But they are real. And it is true. So if, if people want to get into that. We can get into that. If people don't, then we won't get into it. But to everybody that like to call themselves woke and conscious and all these other silly titles that people come up with, you know, you should know better, but I know you don't. But you should know better than to shun something before you really know what's going on. And being as though you don't know what I got. You shouldn't be shunning what I'm saying now. But I know a lot of people will. I still love you. Do your thing. If y'all want to chop it up, we can chop it up about this. Hey. Hey, remember this, though. No plan B. This Before I go, I'm, I'm really serious about this. This is what I teach with. This is what I counsel with. This is what I coach with. This, I'm telling you, these... These principles can be stood on forever and ever by anybody because they're true. You don't know what I got. You do not know what I got. You can't get it from research either. I know y'all love to use that word research. I know y'all love it, but you can't get it from research. Come on, man. Researching is just researching. You're just searching up some shit that somebody else said. You can't get it that way. You got to know it. You got to experience it. Once you experience it, there's no way you cannot see it. There's no way. You can't unsee the shit that you have. You cannot. If you was to get here, you cannot unsee what you've seen. You change forever. There's nothing you could do about it. You can't go back. It's over. You can't go back. All right. So, you know, like I said, I'm out of here, man.